Hey guys, what's going on? I um, haven't done a lot of video, uh, videos recently, um, mainly because I haven't been too well, so unfortunately I haven't been able to get on. Um, so the first video that I'm going to do now that i am come back is that I've seen a lot of this on, on uh, a lot of groups for Star Trek Online, and I absolutely agree, and I actually share their annoyance about this because PVEs are one of the most simple things to completely do um, and yes you may be new to it fine not a problem but it doesn't stop your unless you unless you can't read and I apologize to anyone who can't read doesn't stop you from reading what you need to do but it also doesn't stop you from hearing it because they will describe in the in the in the beginning of the PVE what you need to do um, it is the most simple thing in the absolute world. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you on to the Mirror Invasion PVE. Which is obviously the one that's come up at the moment. It's the event that's going on at the moment. Now this is wherever I have actually seen a lot of people doing this as well. Is I've seen a lot of people just flying about, sitting at the edge of the map, not doing anything. And the other day I actually used my science vessel, which for a tactical cons a tactical officer like myself, <sighs> I should really be using at least a tactical or an engineering vessel. They're the ones that, you know, the tactical's gonna be the best for me, um, but your engineering's also gonna be uh, slightly better than what my science is. I managed to take out a whole squadron of Terran ships and I, couldn't count how many there were, all I could count was there were a lot of explosions at the end, um, but who knows how many I destroyed after that. So obviously, right at the beginning, ready up. If you're new to PVEs, just hold down the A button when it comes up on the screen like that, select, go in, simple. Um, again, it, it tells you all about it. Yes, it doesn't tell you how to get into it. Um, but as you see at the top of the screen, you where it says three, uh, and press A to hold, it will come up with a little explanation mark, as if to say, "Hey, pay attention to me. I'm here." So, yeah, simple. But yes, I'm actually going to use my science vessel mainly because whenever I go onto these, there is never, and I bet you there will be tons of uh, absolute tons of science vessels now that I've done this. Um, there is never really anyone in a science vessel, and the. Uh, the anomalies that open up to allow the portals that open up to allow the Terran to come in to our universe don't really get closed. Um, the most, when I haven't been using my science, or the most, and bear in mind I've only used it once, and I've done this about nine times now, more than nine times. Um, I've been doing it once a day since I've. Uh, anyway, um, nobody actually closes, and the highest I ever got was about 14. But I'm going to let you listen to this. Full-scale invasion from the um, mirror universe is imminent. Because he's going to tell you allow them exactly to take what you need to know. Station. The mirror forces will open rifts from their universe. Close Those are the rifts. rifts keep their ships out. I'm showing you right there. Science vessels can do this faster. The station's power systems were damaged in the initial assault. If you divert power from the secondary relays, we can channel it into our systems and bring defenses back online. Cruisers will complete this task more so, quickly. Ships, you will do the this faster. The more power you divert, the more quickly we can make our repairs. That is basically it. So, tactical ships, nada. You do not have a fixed job. So, what I would recommend is support everybody else. You can fly around. You can destroy absolute tons. If you've got a science vessel that are trying to close portals, like I will try and do today then you can go straight in there and you can clear up what's come through. Um, especially with science vessels like the Intrepid here. I only have six weapons. Only six. It's not a lot. There was a rift back there, but I have seen my target and I want this one. So, let's give them a quick clear out first. Even for a science vessel, it doesn't take that much to kill these guys. There you go, portal closed. That's number one already done. So they are your portals. Get them cleared as soon as you can. Let's head up to that one. 
So again, engineering ships uh, will be should really be focusing on the relays. Science vessels will be hopefully, if you have got them all in there, because not many people use them, should be using the. Let's get rid of this. And remember, guys, split up as well. Don't all go to one side. You're going to handicap yourself hugely if you do that. There we go. Let's just clear that up. Yes, there's more that have spawned, but it's because I was clearing up the first wave there. So, let's hopefully get these guys in and we'll get them and we will try and get that portal. So, 10 minutes is all you've really got to hold out. I don't want you spawning anything else today. You can you can go away. Need you. That one close. And that's that one dead. Here's the battery hole patch. Give that, let's try and get back close if they actually work the mechanics right in this game. Unfortunately, they don't. Because anything that activates whilst you're trying to do that will shut it off completely. Ah, I see a lot of enemies. So, yeah, just keep going. As you examine. Science must work pretty well. Right, we well. I mean, I like to put uh, chemo site on there because it helps with damage to target because it's a 3 kilometer radius, which isn't bad. Okay, someone got that portal. That's good. I'm going to go for that one right there. So yeah, these tiers should really be progressing quicker than what they actually are. Um, but I think that is because, yeah, only two are being activated. The else is off doing whatever. Another portal right there, so let's go over to that one. Before it spits anything else out. Alright, okay, we can fight. I suppose that's okay too. Try and activate this because nobody else seems to be activating these stations, which is absolute naff. We haven't got a single one been activated at the moment. This is the issue that we're, that a lot of people are expressing: is that nobody's actually doing it. They're just playing team deathmatch. You want to do that? You go to something else. You know, come on, let's let's face it. You know, I'm a science vessel. I just closed that. Ideally, yeah, you don't have to just sit there and guard one thing. But come on. If you're a cruiser, you, that gets done just as quickly as I can close my walls. It's simple. So let's close the rift and then I'm going to head for that station. And let's hopefully get that done. That. 
Let's try to sneak in behind the Camaro. transfers on really being done enough. I mean, even you see the science vessel is doing absolutely fantastic. You know, there are better things that could be doing. Station plasma lamps in three, two, one. Yeah, I know they respawn, but you know, ideally we should be close enough. I ain't touching you. I can see what three, you've got on. Two, one. Stop it, that's not nice. This is an absolute mess. Anymore. Only 26 seconds, but hi. Oh, blue. 
Okay, there's a couple over there, but 15 seconds. Firing station plasma lamps in three, two, one. Awesome. Not going to matter now, but there they all go. So right at the second part of this bit, you're going to have set portals spawn, and it's only going to set out a few. Uh, I think it's well, I say a few, five. I think uh, there's an enemy. Let's go over there. These portals will spawn. You do need to close them down. Um, well, like that one has been. Um, to stop the dreadnought going in and out, in and out, in and out. Because the that is, is what it is going to do. At 10 o'clock. We like lots of explosions ruining everyone's frame rate. actually just go for the dreadnought in this and I have noticed that as well um, but we really do need to be closing I know I keep going over it but you know, this is what this PV is uh, if I was doing more disconnected I'd be staying others I bet that had uh... oh it does yeah don't don't touch that Go get it. I mean, the dreadnoughts are easy to destroy. Oh, the ISS starts up. Three, two, one. Look how quickly you can That's bad. There we go. It is as simple as that. Keep all the build the objectives right on the right hand side. Complete them. Read what they say. Um, yes, if you are doing certain ones and it's a bit more difficult to uh, get to them because there's a lot of enemies about, um, ideally you need to really be sort of, uh, you know, uh, it's teaming up slightly, but you don't need, don't need like onboard disconnected. You have three objectives. You don't need four people on one and one person on another. You can perfectly survive it with one person on one, two people on the other two. Easy. I've done that with that ship as well. Absolutely easy. You know, and my builds aren't the best builds in the world. By far they're not. But it's able to, you know, it's able to do what it needs to do. Oh, new objective. You know, and it, and it gets there, it does what it needs to do. Um, and then obviously if you complete all these missions, especially in this, uh, the Terran invasion, Got a lot of you get a lot of marks for them. You do get a lot of marks. Okay. It's all good. I don't think I had one of them come through. Nope. No, not time yet. But yeah. So that is basically it is just a little bit of a play as well, but the basic thing is is just to read everything that is that's telling you or listen to it. It will tell you exactly what you need to do in the game. Don't just go running off and thinking you're going to sit at the back of the map whilst everybody else does everything. Um, come on, chip in. If your build isn't good enough, look at your build. You know, there's plenty of videos out there. I have a load of build builds on my channel as well. Um, so it can really can help you out. If you know, don't just sit at the back of the map. You're you're gonna, you know, you're gonna damage everybody's chances as well of completing objectives. Um, and just on a standard PvE as well, there shouldn't be too much hassle on them at all. Um, you know, so 
yeah so don't just sit around do what you need to do if you f if you feel like an air quotes here failing at actually getting through these PVEs without constantly being blown up again look at your build what ship have you got what officer are you um, and yes a little bit hypocritical because I've got a science vessel but you know blown up the once um, the last time I did it not a single time um, the main thing that screwed me on that was because I had already used my evasive maneuvers to get out of the previous one it was still recharging so I couldn't get out anywhere um, but yeah, just look at everything. If you're struggling to do these PVEs, look at your build. If you're if you're just being lazy, don't be lazy. Come on, it's a game. You should be playing the game. Um, if you feel that you need, if you feel that every, it would, you would benefit from everybody going onto one objective when there's multiple. No, split up. That's what they're there for. That's why you've got multiple objectives, so you can go to each one. Um, and like I said, PVEs at right at the beginning of the PVEs are so simple. They are absolutely simple and they are so easy. You can basically chuck a random beam boat on board and you would be fine. I wouldn't recommend using a beam boat in the way of oh, I say beam boat, beam boats are fine, sorry, I'm getting missed out. Rainbow boats. I wouldn't recommend using rainbow boats. But you can survive PVEs with rainbow boats. Um that's not including different coloured beams of the same energy type. Um, it's like having anti-proton, tetrion, plasma, all on the same thing. You're just, you know, handicapping yourself. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you struggle with with your build and you're not able to put the damage out there, you're not able to uh, survive long enough, check out the other videos on the channel because I've got builds on there and they will get you through absolutely fine. Um, if you're not 100 percent sure what's going on, hold down the A button. Where it normally say where it now says beam to Starfleet Academy, it will have a little icon at the top and the noise says mission. It will tell you what you need to do. And it is that easy. And you will benefit a lot more by doing what you need to do objective wise than just playing team deathmatch because you're gonna be completely objective, you're gonna get those bonus marks. It's good. It's fantastic, that's what you want. Um, but as of it, that is everything for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, it was a little bit of gameplay. Um, wasn't one of the most informative videos, but it's getting the point across of you can do this. You can absolutely do this. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, um, whether that be on here on Twitch or whether if you're watching this on YouTube or here on YouTube. Um, it really does help me out and it actually makes me feel pretty good. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching and I will be seeing you later.